The 2024 pen relays is in the books. My name is Anderson, here to give you a quick recap highlighting five of my top performances from these past three days in Philly at the pen relays. And this weekend was electric. So let's dive in. My first one is Yared Nagus and Ali Hor in the Olympic Development Men's Mile. Both of them train under OAC, under Dathan Ritzenhain, and they were going for a very, very fast time but Yara Nugus came away with the win in 351.06 seconds, just ahead of Ali Horror, who ran 351.28 seconds. Now, Yara Nugus, he had been coming off a really strong high where he got a silver medal at the World Indoor Championships indoors in a 3K. He broke the American record at the Milrose Games. He had been riding a string of fast performances, even up to last year. This was no different with the 351 to open up his season. This is the first start for his 2024 campaign to an Olympic medal. This was a very, very strong start. We're also gonna see him at Prefontaine going up against Josh Kerr as well as Jakob Ingebrigtsen. So this was just a precursor to what that race is gonna be like. And Yard is super excited to meet them on the track later on in May. But huge shout outs to Ali Hor, who had been dealing with some injuries for the past couple months. He did manage to come back just a couple weeks ago, got second place at the Australian Championships. This was his race to potentially get that Olympic standard. He unfortunately missed out just a bit, but if he's already kicking things off with 351.28, this really bodes well for his chances to not only get the Olympic standard, but potentially make some noise in Paris later on this summer. Now, I do just wanna highlight that, yes, 351, not the Olympic standard, not as fast as some people might've thought, but think about this. This is the fastest times that we have ever seen in the month of April in history. Prior to these two performances, the fastest time was 351.71 by Alan Webb all the way back in April of 2007. So this just speaks to the performances that both Yara Nagus, that Ali Hor, Jordi Beamish, who was pacing both of them, they really threw down on the track here in Penn. So shout out to the men's mile. On top of that, number two, I have to talk about Quincy Wilson from Bullis. He dominated on the 4x4. He ran in the heats earlier on Saturday, and he split 44.37 seconds on his anchor leg for Bullis. That is not only an insanely fast time, that is actually the fastest high school split that we have ever seen here at Penn. Quincy Wilson continues to shock the world week after week after week, and he is still only 16 years old. He is still only a sophomore at Bullis, so he has so much potential. He's already run the Olympic standard in the 400 just a couple weeks ago. He said that he might be going to Olympic trials, might be able to make some noise. We could see, you know, another 16 year old, you know, get onto the Olympic team. We saw it with Sidney McLaughlin Roney back in 2016. So this this may be another great year. On top of that 44.37 in the heats, he came back in the final and ran another massive split of 44.69 seconds. So just speaking to the talent that Quincy Wilson is able to you know, throw down on the track despite still being an extremely young and extremely talented and a rising athlete in the sport. Quincy Wilson, four by four split, huge performance for him. Now, moving on to a, a huge record in that men's mile for the NCAA. These, we saw three teams go under 16 minutes in the men's mile. Villanova, 1551.91 seconds. Virginia, 1552.30. Georgetown, 1552.56. Again, three teams going under 16 minutes. The previous record set all the way back in 2005 was 1604.54 seconds. So that just speaks to not only the level of talent on the track that we saw between all three of these teams, but also the potential that they're gonna be having going into their conference championships, going into NCAAs. Each of these athletes is really, really in a great position. I also want to give a huge shout out to Georgetown, who actually had all four of their legs actually split sub four minutes. That has never been done. That is unprecedented. And again, just speaks to the level of talent that we saw on the track. Again, four by mile for the NCAA, NCAA record by Villanova, by Virginia, as well as Georgetown, another highlight from the meet. Keeping it in the relays, the women's DMR. This was an, a shock on the track for not only the fans, not only the coaches, but the athletes who were actually running. Harvard, they came away with the win in a huge NCAA record of 1037.55 seconds. Now, not only was that the NCAA record, but that took over 10 seconds off the previous record, which was set all the way back in 1988. So we're talking about almost 40 years of that DMR record standing and Harvard demolished it. And Maya Ramsden running the anchor leg, 
421.47 seconds. That is a huge split to be able to pull off on the anchor leg. And this was not just Harvard. Providence also joined them under the previous record running 1039.04 seconds. And they were anchored by Kimberly May who ran 423.68. So just again, like I said with the men's mile, we're talking about the talent pool on the track to throw down a NCAA record in the DMR, to throw down some of the fastest anchor leg splits that we've ever seen. Harvard, Providence really putting things down, really showing up and really giving the crowds, you know, an amazing show for the pen relays. Another highlight from the meet. Now, before I get into my final highlight, I do just want to shout out a couple of the records that went down. Bliss on the girls' side, we saw them in the 4x4. They actually broke the high school national record, the girls' 4x4 for Bullis. They actually broke the record a couple weeks back earlier in the season, so they improved upon it by just a couple seconds here at the Penn Relays. On top of that, Union Catholic girls in the 4x8, they broke the high school record in the 4x8 as well. Again, speaking to the level of talent, speaking to the competition, speaking to the environment, everyone was prepared to throw down some amazing records and we can't forget about the Washington women also in the 4x8 breaking the NCAA record I mean the pen relays is known for bringing out some of the top talent onto the track and 2024 was no different just considering all the records and that's just some of the highlights some of the performances some of the records but the last highlight that I want to shout out is the Jamaican athletes. Penn Relays is known for bringing out some of the top Jamaican schools every single year and bringing the energy, bringing the fast times. Listen, they performed and they showed out this year. First off, Kingston College in the boys 4x4. And this was not only a win for 2024, but this was their third consecutive win at the Penn Relays, just proving how they're able to bring some of the best talent to Philadelphia and always show up and always show out. Building off that in the boys four by one, we saw the Excelsior team get the win, high school boys championship four by four, four by one. And Excelsior was actually kind of an underdog. They weren't favored to you know, come to the pen relays and actually get the win. They didn't even do as well as some might've expected at the Jamaican champs a couple weeks ago, but they stepped up to the plate and they really performed on the track here at the pen relays. Again, Excelsior boys getting the win in that four by one. And also on top of that, the high Dell girls. They not only won the four by four, they also won the four by one both championship titles for the Heidel girls. Heidel has been a team that's been on the rise over the past couple of years. Last year, they had some really strong performances. In 2024, they just improved upon that. Again, high school girls getting both titles in the 4x1 and the 4x4 really showing up. All the Jamaican schools really showed up in 2024 at the pen relays let us know what you thought was your favorite performance from these pen relays and huge shout out to on for partnering with Sidious mag to help us bring all the coverage from the past couple days here in philly at the pen relays i'm excited for 2025 you should be excited we're probably going to run it back so be sure you're there with us